Hey everybody, I thought I'd show this a little bit, what I've been working on today. This is the 8x14 Lathe Master Lathe, and Alan, if you're seeing this, this is the one that you were going to CNC, and you ended up selling it to Russ, and then I bought it in pieces, and I put it back together, and I'm trying to get it as accurate as possible. So today, what I worked on, let's see if I can show you where the bubble is, um, making sure there was no twist in the, the lathe bed, so I used uh, one, two, three blocks. As you can see, it would be impossible to put a level across the prismatic ways, the hardened ways, because they're uneven. So using the one, two, three blocks, you get to uh, establishes a new uniform plane two inches above the uh, the ways of the bed. So I did it in various positions. I would <clears throat> first loosen the the mounting bolts down here removed the tailstock and then I would I took measurements here and then I put the the setup down there closer to the chuck looked at my measurements and long very long story short I ended up shimming it was over a sixteenth of an inch to shim on this side of of the um, the end the the far end tailstock end of the the lathe ways and then I, I tightened it down uh, to get the bubble right in the middle and same thing over here and it's not as simple as that you have to go back and forth you get your initial reading and you put shims I don't know if you can see them or not but there's some brass shims under here and you go back and forth and you, you tighten and recheck tighten and recheck it's a lot like uh, well not a lot like but it's similar to the idea of centering something in a four jaw chuck you go back and forth and keep checking things so um, anyway as I said <clears throat> I've got it now where Basically, there's no twist in the bed. The, in case you're not familiar, folks, if you aren't familiar with that, the reason you don't want twist in the bed is because even though this bed is short, if the bed was twisted and you're doing a boring operation, let's say, or even a turning operation, you could end up with a taper, and you don't want that. You want the, the, lay, the ways of the lathe to be parallel with each other, not twisted, so that gives the greatest chance for accuracy for boring and turning operations. And so that, having done that, the next step is I did get some test bars, a um, number three Morse taper test bar that I'll use in the headstock, and number two Morse taper uh, test bar I'll use in the tailstock. I'll probably get that done tomorrow and take some measurements and see. I think that the replacement tailstock I bought from Harbor Freight is a few thousandths too high. And um, I think 1,000 or so is fine because the tool kind of droops a little bit, but anything more than a thou is going to take some adjustment. So I'm either probably going to have to shim the headstock up or um, machine some off of the tailstock. So we'll we'll take some measurements and figure that out next. But Alan, if you're watching this, I thought you'd enjoy seeing this old lathe, trying to get it put back together and accurate. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you all posted.